<laughs> it's the Subway NFL postgame show on the CBS Audience Network, and the Eagles romp the Lions. Who said that they don't have an offense? 56-21. The last time Philly scored 50 points, well, it was also against Detroit back in the 95 postseason in the wild card matchup in Philadelphia. Hey, how are you, folks? Jason Horst along at NFL.com's Pat Kerwin with you here on the Subway NFL postgame show. And uh, it was 35-7 to like that in the first half. The Eagles scored six touchdowns on seven drives. Yeah, there's two names. That, well, three names. Donovan McNabb, he's getting better with each week. Today, I thought I saw him transferring his weight a lot better in his throws. The throw was accurate. That's not was not the case for the first two weeks. And you got a guy named Kevin Curtis. They go out and sign him. He was unstoppable in the first half. Three touchdown passes. And then, of course, there's Brian Westbrook. 221 yards of total offense. That explains how a team, they almost had 500 yards in the first half. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that first half. Let's bring up a graphic here of what they did in the first half. More points, 17 more points in the first half of this one than they had in the first two games. Nearly more yards. And in seven drives, they had six touchdowns compared to the 23 they had in the first two games with just one offensive touchdown. That's what it says what they did against the Lions defense. Now, on the other side of that, this Lions defense, which has caused eight turnovers the first two games right. against poor offenses, but here you go and you get this game and they just get shellacked. How bad is this defense when we go down the stretch here? Well, you know, I never thought when I was at camp this summer that this was going to be a solid defense. They have played great in the first two weeks, but they got exposed on the road in Philadelphia against a quarterback who's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. There's problems in the secondary, and when Sean Rodgers doesn't show up all the time against the run, you're going to have problems in the gut of this defense. Now, Here's what concerned me most about the Eagles coming into this. They were starting to throw the ball more than they should. When Mortingwig took over last year, that running number went way up. As soon as it looked like Andy Reid was back calling plays with Donovan, the passing went back up. They were up to 38 attempts a game. Wrong place to be. They bring the passing down at 26, get the running up over 30. That's the combination with that big offensive line in Philadelphia that's going to win a lot of games. You always say you have to stop one thing, or at least on defense, do one thing while either stop the pass or stop the run. They couldn't stop me or you trying to pass or run in this game. Well, so that's don't on. include me with that. <laughs> I've seen your foot speed. Uh, one other note, Calvin Johnson went out in the first half. Uh, preliminary indications was a back injury. I'll have to say with CBSSports.com right. to see how bad the rookie's injury is, and that could really hurt the Lions' chances. And let me make cases. Sheldon Brown had a great game on defense. They're out there without Lito Shepard, and they yep. did a nice job. Roy Williams in the first half kept this team in the game. It's a, it's a shame Calvin went out because they have enough firepower, you Lion fans, to consider your team a threat every week yep. to score enough points to win. Especially in, in the NFC, but you can't give up 56 points. Redevel.com is back here. Well, yeah, once in a while. <laughs> back here when I'm Jason Horowitz. For the up-to-date info on Calvin Johnson or the rest of the games in Week 3, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the Subway NFL postgame show. Stay tuned for everything all over the CBS Audience Network. Take care.